of flywheel. Here is the all new Mercedes Benz S Class. Mercedes Benz S Class, popularly known as the best car in the world, here have the latest avatar, the W223. And I am here in Dubai to have the first look of the car. Unfortunately, I'm not able to drive in because the car is not ready for drive. But anyway, I'm giving you the first look of the car here from Dubai. Welcome to Flight. So in fact, I feel like I'm a dream garage, you know, S-Class and the G-Wagon. Both are my most favorite cars. And you know, the G-Wagon in this one is a fully off-road spec vehicle. It's customized by a customer. You can see an off-road tire and all. So that's something which even I like. I'll show you a glimpse of the car, but we'll highlight on the S-Class. First thing first, I always felt that S-Class is an elegant car and has been an elegant car. And when the new one was introduced, I'm a bit confused whether it was having the same elegance and the class of the 222. But the moment I saw in person, first time I saw in person, I understood. It's a modern luxury. It has evolved from what it was in W22, but again, it has retained all its charisma and elegance and it looked very stately. In fact, in a modern way. So that's how S-Class has always been and has been carried well. Let's subject around the design of the new S-Class. The best thing about S-Class design has always been the best proportion for a sedan. It has been retained for throughout the generation. You know, from any S-Class, you can see one of the best proportion for a sedan, especially for a stately luxury sedan. Even with the Maybach variant in the W222, they have been retained that. And same has been carried here. You can see a long hood, a beautifully carved roof line and a three box design, well crafted. Here in this case, there's a new radiator grill, which is bigger curvier it looks attractive it's a new digital light i would mention the details later but you can look attractive it's very sleek calm and you can see three projections and three bar which is the signature of an s class like the stars for the officers on the shoulder and this one has an amg body trim so you have the amg bumper and the sporty look with a lot of chrome there's another normal variant is also available here in this case is a 21 inch multi-spoke alloy wheel Look attractive, it's an AMG trim design again, but there are few more other designs available. You can see, uh, unlike the last generation W222, there is no strong lines which comes to, which cut the body. There's one line to start from the headlight and start the brain line, which forms a shoulder line, and there's a strong one. And the rest of the body is clean and neat. And as I said, it's an AMG trim, so there's a skirt below, again, it has chrome element. The roof line is proper like a coupe, a curved roof line, and look very attractive. Sleek, the so green nozzle that has been chromed and look very attractive. There's again a new side view mirror, it's more advanced. To talk about the aerodynamics, there's a new hand which pop up if you unlock it and it's, and it's made in a way that you get more the best drag coefficient. So once you unlock it, it pop up and this is how it goes in. But if you're near the car and you have the key with you, just touch it, it pops up. So that's how the this handle works and it's also been chromed up very well. It's a huge uh, rear uh, door which again is not felt when you see the car it's been designed and converted to very well. Rear end and the rear formation will look later. Anyway, that we maintain this classy design for a sedan with the profile, it's amazing. And there's also a new key which is the first time in a Mercedes. I didn't feel this so elegant when I saw in the picture. It's actually with a chrome and black color, look very attractive. The new S-Class comes with an optional digital light, which are three extremely powerful LED lights whose lights are refracted and then directed by 1.3 million micromirrors. These micromirrors occupy the same space as human thumbnail. The mirrors are capable of dividing the lights into many pixels as they are in a mirror, making it 2.6 million pixels of light for each vehicle. These lights are able to project the most precise distribution of the light. The tech is similar to that of a video projector. And this uses a graphic process to generate continuous video streaming on the mirror. For example, the car can recognize that road work is going on. It will project road work sign onto the road for the driver to see. Similarly, various other traffic symbols for the driver's support. So when the new S-Class was introduced and the photos were leaked or been out, most of the controversy was for the rear end design. And it was big controversy, especially on forums where we used to talk about the cars like Mercedes and other German cars, people were not very happy with what the design was. 
but I have not made my judgment because I always make my judgment after seeing a product. So once I saw this, I understood it is really elegant. It's really good because earlier this was a vertical tail light design for the 222 and even for 221 and to an extent to 2220. But this has been something from the heritage like 116 and other models had the wraparound tail light which has been as a two split one. But uh, there was no split earlier, but it's not felt in this car in person. It is very attractive, it's consolidated very well. I felt like it is from the Cooper designs, which was there in the S Class Cooper design, but small difference in the shape of the design, which again in person when I saw it, it looked very attractive. One thing which I really like is the LED treatment in the light. So once you unlock it, you can see this. So this is how it looks and very attractively done. Every LED is had uh, individual attention to detail, so it looks attractive. And it's a uh, AMG body line, you can see an uh, exhaust being uh, covered with a chrome strip and there's two exhaust, it's not fake, real one. And the design has been consulted very well, like in earlier coupes, there is very less uh, drag in this, look very attractive. And finally, once you open the boot, it's a deep boot, it's having enough space. Maybe by count it's little lesser than 2 to 2, but it's good space to utilize for your luggages or maybe for your drop into airport. So you can carry your luggage very well. Electrically operated boat. And the one which we have here is S500. And this is not like the earlier S500, it's a six cylinder one, but we're not driving the car today. I'll just experience how it felt when you crank the car later. So it's an S-Class and rear is very important. So that's what I'm starting off the interior from the rear. The thing about S-Class and the rear is that a lot of cars are designed very well, but the concentration are mostly gone onto the front seats. There are very few cars being designed concentrating the rear end also. And that rear compartment is the S-Class compartment. That's why in any S-Class, the rear is very important because the boss or the owner mostly will be traveling there. And they give a lot of emphasis for the rear end, especially when it's a long wheelbase which is in this car, it's an amazing car with a lot of space. I'm actually not properly experiencing it because I'm not driving it. I actually love to drive any cars and this is just uh, giving a glimpse of one of my favorite and I just want to share the excitement happiness when I got to see this car in this Dubai trip. So that's why I'm sharing this video. But definitely I'll be bringing a review once it's launched in India or maybe sometime later when I come abroad or something. So this is just a experience sharing sitting over here. I'm not going a lot to the detail, but one thing for, for sure, there's a spacious interior, a lot of space are there. There are five screen all totally in the car. Three of them are rear and one is this one. Again, this is having a new graphic design and uh, this is bigger than earlier. Uh, there is a lot of space here and there are two options available in this uh, rear compartment. One is the two separate captain seat. Another one is a bench seat. Actually, it's again a captain seat kind of thing which can be adjusted over here with the touch of a button. And it's it's very smoothly adjusting. Uh, but on the other case, there will be a center console which connect with the center console at the front. In this case, there is nothing like that. So there's a unfoldable seat rest, which if you unfold it, you can make one more person to sit, especially kids. So that way, the seats are comfortable. And I have to say this color combination. Normally we see the beige and this uh, very attractive brown color with black and other inserts. A boot trim is also very attractive. And the best thing about the new S-Class is the new ambient lighting system, which is not like earlier. It looked very attractive. It's like uh, you can see the light over here, which illuminate in a different way. And you have a lot of colors available. Like I'm not counting numbers at 64, but I think there's a lot of other combinations where you can set the interior color according to your taste and mood big panoramic sunroof I can complement to the travel. So just, just, this is just a first feel of the car. A lot more I'll be explaining when I drive it as soon as possible because I can't wait to have a experience of this new class. So this is my place actually. For any driver, the most important place or most uh, liked place is always a driver's seat. And once I am in, I can see a luxury to next level for a driver brilliant car there are few things always been doubted about the new s class one as i mentioned was the rear end design other was the interior especially the front and the kind of screens but i have to say there are five screens in this s class one is the sensor control 
second is a huge 12.3 display in uh, for this infotainment and three other screen in the rear for the two infotainment and other uh, popped up tablet like screen in this case i have to mention this is not at all looking awkward because once you are here in this position you are not feeling any awkwardness from other side this this screen has got a big surprise i can't imagine this got a 3d screen and this got a 3d feel which i know that many of the vloggers and who have done the first look at mentioned is not evident in the camera of course it is not seen in camera i seen I taken the photo as also video edited but you can't feel the 3d thing it's only felt in the naked eye and i am surprised how it is so according to how i look if i look this way if i look this way this actually change and uh, you know there is some light which comes uh, which is actually monitoring my eyes is popping up from that screen which is can be seen on the camera and that is a big surprise this uh, is a 3d screen and very effective one and that one is an augmented reality head up display which again i can't experience much because i'm not driving it i'll share the video of what it is actually look like and it's an amazing feature other screen is this 12.3 inch vertical screen first of all the design was a big confusion but i seen the eqs recent design when i was in frankfurt motor show and seeing that in person i was convinced but then again when it was launched the new s5 was launched the screen was one other talk about this car but i have to say s class is always a modern luxury and we know we are all are into gadgets and we love gadgets so that way this is something which actually require for a modern car modern luxury and it's been done really well the graphic quality is amazing the touch function is amazing as you know the mbux has been taken to the next level and whatever touch functions are there all have that click feel which you get from the smartphone even the steering wheel is a new one and it's a amg steering in this one but again that controls all our touch you can really feel that difference again when you look at the screen when you control all this thing you can get that 3d feel it's really surprised me and actually attracting me a lot other thing which always had a doubt was the air vent design as you know that 140 uh, series of s class also was misaligned with the air vent as always said some things get attracted in a misaligned manner so that way this is not at all awkward when you're sitting here because the ac vents are placed a little on to right in this left hand drive car that's actually to give a proper flow for the ac without disturbing any of your gadgets or even without disturbing you while you're driving uh, there are a lot of cars which i have mentioned earlier also the ac flow actually comes on to your ha hand than to your face or body because it was misaligned so this way the even though the alignment is towards the right it's not properly misaligned for the practical aspect design wise it's amazing it's all very well flowed and a uh, lot of uh, wood lot of piano piano black and this color is also attractive but again as a driver it's not actually complete just by sitting here and explaining the car it's always about driving and in this case i'm not able to drive because the demo cars are not yet ready here this car again is a s500 with a new 96 cylinder there are a lot of engine options available for s class from the four cylinder and up to v12 which is for the maybach and we'll be getting also the v8 by turbo e boost engine from amg soon then it's on meter to nine speed gearbox and this case is a four wheel drive it's a formatic and most of the engines also will be coming in formatic and there will also be a plug in hybrid soon in the s class range but i'm not sure which one will be coming to india so let's we'll have to wait and see which will be coming anyway this is a mind blowing car i am so happy that i could bring it to you first in india and even though it's not driven i could really feel the rest of the thing but i will definitely not miss any chance to get the car driven and cover it for you maybe in india or maybe abroad let's stay tuned and wait for that so i can't explain how happy i am because the first time i'm seeing this class and as i always mention s class and g wagon has always been my favorite and that's my personal thing but i never biased on my reviews on that so this is my statement that's my personal thing but i have a lot of other cars also which i love in this case i'm so happy that i can bring you the first india exclusive look of the car but i'm 
already said that I can't drive it right now, but I'm waiting for that moment. I'm praying for that. So just let me know what you think about the new S Plus on the common box. And if you like this video, please do like and make your friends also see it by sharing it. And if you yet to subscribe to our channel, please do subscribe it and click that bell button so you get all the updates as soon as we upload the video. So until we meet, just be safe and enjoy your driving.